Poco XA or the Poco XA NFC. Pixel OS sufficient. RS5 2024 security patch and version is 14. Maybe this is the last build of Pixel OS. Maybe one more version. And kernel user is 4.14.348. Sunday, August 11th build. You guys can see this is typical home screen. And this is the quick settings toggles. And there will be no auto brightness toggle adjustment here. It's a pure Pixel OS. These are the options we get. In the edit section, there are a few more. And you guys can see there is even auto brightness toggle here. Extra feature prices. Usually that will not be there in the pure Android. Whereas this is typical on screen camera application here. You get HyperOS HDR Leica integrated here. In the video mode, we'll show you 4K. Yeah, 4K 30 option is available. Even in the ultra wide, you guys can see 4K 30 is available. If you want anything advanced, you can definitely use the Gcam ports. But I already explained in many videos of Poco X3. Provide my videos and Dolby Atmos is also given, guess, which is a good thing. We get all the necessary options from here, sound settings. And the settings again, I uh, will close this. Yep. Settings determines very simple, elegant. And security and privacy with both finger and face unlock. We'll show you the fingerprint unlock first. Yeah, it hasn't recorded. I will record it in front of you and if you are first time to this channel hit the subscribe button down below guys and also under the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like uh, and for similar kind of videos subscribe to my channel guys and it takes some time guys and remove the case while registering the case it will be better in my opinion again I don't remember uh, did it uh, did or not anyhow we will doing now and meanwhile, if you want to check out my other videos and my channel in regarding this, you can check out. Now let's check the fingerprint unlock. Even face unlock is also working fine. As you can see, the fingerprint unlock is very fast and the face unlock is also even faster than what you can expect from any custom ROM. And into system again, you get all these options like show me parts and other things. Clear speaker, you get no direction settings, but Dolby Atmos is more than enough in my opinion. Again, gesture, gesture navigation, you get these things and yeah that's it very simple and the display mode i will also show you this one display yeah pure black option is there actually I enable that as you can see if you want you can schedule them out also icon manager is given and display size and text some of them have messed up here and these options are given refresh rate option adaptive refresh rate is also given tap to wake tap to sleep both are given working fine in my opinion battery battery life is really good it hasn't recorded but battle life is very good guys and user interface ways haptic feedback sent and dual stereo speakers calling experience everything is fine in this wrong guys sound and vibration you get all the necessary options and uh, accessibility menu which is working fun which is my personal favorite again we'll show some results yes many people are eagerly waiting for that yes yeah too many years yeah this is the internet speed connection with 280 fiber connection and this is the Android benchmark versus very good scores and geek pen scores and this is the safety and status results and device getting passed and certified and so you can use all the payment applications which are going to work fine flawlessly and these are read its speed test case on charging speed you guys can say 19 pm it is 85 117 it is 90 turbo charging or the rapid charging support is available in this rom i even tested pgmi you get just 40 fps gameplay it's fine again say and you also get basic call recording which is a handy feature once you enable here and choose the output format and directory you will get to go and just make dialing from here it will be done the directory call is also there once you make the call it will be auto recorded you can see from basic call recording here which is a cool thing basic call recording is given hyperos camera is given and dark theme pillback condition is given and dolby atmos is given very good scores what else you need and the pure google experience you get as you can see and this lock screen customization is also given here you get all the necessary options as you can see everything is fine guys i felt this is one of the best rom available for poco x3 it might seems for you that every rom you're speaking is best from now in terms of in the category of uh, basic rom this is really good and all the necessary features are also given here I'm really liking this ROM guys. If you have any specific questions regarding this ROM, comment down in the comment section and there is a separate WhatsApp group for this POCO X3 device. 
you can join there and this is sampath guys you're watching sampath sam fix youtube channel definitely recommended this round to use it as a daily driver and i wait i recommend to wait you people to android 15 if you want to be in android 14 this is the best rom simple elegant and beautiful rom you think is working fine all the features are given fine bgm gameplay is also fine with respect to 40 fps and this is not the gaming rom i am again saying that battery life is good battery percentage charging speeds are also very good your thing is fine here this is sampath signing off will be with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now